in the early 20th century, there is a segregated America. And that happened in sports as well. Even if you were a star athlete, the rules of segregation were still enforced. It had to be awful, knowing that you were better than everyone and not allowed to play. Before Jackie Robinson, there was Kenny Washington. When Kenny Washington set foot on the UCLA campus, he was already a star. He could do everything. Marion Motley. He was just a man among boys. The guy like that coming through the line and scares you. Bill Willis. Bill was a great player. His style was giving all out effort all the time. And Woody Strode. He had the reputation of being the perfect physical specimen. His development as an athlete was just natural. These four men were celebrated on the fields on Saturday. But they were not drafted in the NFL because the league was segregated. World War II finally came to an end. The country was ready for changes on a lot of different levels. He ruled the world. Everybody knew him. My father was at the right place at the right time to be able to capitalize on that. To be the first one, you take the brunt of everything. My dad said he put me in the butcher shop. It's funny when the movement makes the mainstream, but still don't do a cruising dream. Do a new level of youth on scene. He looks at me, he said, it's hell to be black. They step on his hands, knee him, all that kind of stuff. These men integrating football a year before Jackie Robinson is crucially important. Stand up.